Yo. All right, so this is going to be an interesting one. I went out to night game with what possibly would be considered a uh, late intermediate to possibly an advanced crew, I guess. Um, like these guys do go out to night game and they get results. The guy, I was really excited. I really was looking forward to go out and meet this guy, uh, to meeting this guy. And he seems like a chill dude. He seems like a nice guy. And the reason why I wanted to go out and meet uh, him and game with him was simply because he posted at least three or four different pictures of like three or four different girls or something uh, in the past week or two weeks uh, in the in the WhatsApp group that I'm in. You know, the fact that he has results. So, I was really keen and really interested because like, as you guys know, all I do is solo, solo game. That's it. All I do is solo game. And mostly what I do is day game. Um, and uh, of course, I've gone on night game. Like, I've made a couple of videos as soon as I went night gaming and stuff. And I haven't really done, in my opinion and in my understanding, I haven't done as well a night game. But here, okay, so I, can, I guess this is the interesting part. The reason why night game has been frustrating me and night game has been pissing me off and putting me off of all game in general is simply because because I was doing. In my opinion, my understanding, because I was doing so bad, that's what I thought I was doing so bad at night game. Um, it was just pissing me off because I don't know where to fix anything. Like if I know where to fix something, then I can fix it. But if I don't even know where to fix anything, then there's nothing to fix. Then I can't do anything. Um, so I wanted to go out with these guys because if these guys are getting results, they must obviously, I can, all I need to do is just observe them. I just need to see what they're doing. I just need to observe what they're doing. And you know, that should be more than good enough. And I can, if I can see something happening in front of me, if I can see success, if I can see someone do bodybuilding or make money or do a sales call or close a call or, uh, make a jump or do a video game move or something, if I can see someone do something, not only can I do it, but I can then I can then level up like 10 times more, 10 times better or something and do it even better. That's just the way it is for me. But if I have never seen anyone do it, then I just don't even know if it's possible or something. So anyways, long story short, I'm not with these guys that are supposed to be advanced guys or something. Um, I personally did not see anything really advanced per se. It was just exactly the normal stuff that's normally going on. There were girls everywhere. These guys were going out and approaching them, and they were getting shot down. And then we were going on to the next girl, and then we were getting shot, shot down. Then we went to the next girl, and, then, and that's pretty much it. And one of the guys ended up getting um, one of the guys ended up getting uh, one number close, and that was pretty much it. And he ended up getting one number close, and that was it. Which is uh, honestly, that's not such, such a big deal. And that said, went good for him, which is why he got the number close. But that said, went good for him. But it wasn't anything mind-boggling, earth-shattering, some fucking amazing shit or something. He's good in the sense like he's good in the sense like he's going out, he's talking to girls, he's making things happen, he's confident in himself, he's chilling himself, he's just having fun. That was it. As far I, I obviously couldn't hear every single thing about what was going on. I could not hear everything about what was going on. So I don't really know if there was some advanced stuff happening. I'm gonna ask him eventually. But I didn't, I didn't see anything advanced or anything whatsoever. I feel like almost everybody opened an equal number of sets, sets or something. So everybody, all of them, some girls like someone, the other, some other girls like someone else, and blah blah blah. That was it. Um, and that was that. That was pretty much it. Um, so basically, long story short, I kind of here's the only thing that actually really improved per se was the fact that when I was going out, I generally solo night game, right? When I was going out with other guys and gaming, all I all none of the rejections really felt like anything. Like you didn't feel bad about getting a rejection at all whatsoever. ever. You literally just moved on to the next one, move on to the next one. Like it didn't feel bad at all. As opposed to when I'm doing it by myself, I'm always in my own head because obviously you're always doing things and you're you're always in your own head, right? Oh, no, rejection number one, oh rejection number two, or oh my god, fucking Oh my goodness, eight rejections in a row. Oh my God, 12 rejections in a row. And then you get like a 13th good one. And then eventually actually things start going for the better or something. But there's always that that internal thing and that, that thing that's going on in your head and like that anxiety and all that shit that's going on. As opposed to like when you're with other guys, like when I was with these other guys and, and uh, with these other wings or something, there was nothing in my head, like nothing. And by the way, I opened a bunch of sets. These guys opened a bunch of sets and they left also immediately quickly as well. Like they... 
they were just not some of the girls and stuff were just not into them and they just left because the girls just weren't into them but they only stuck around in sets where the girls were actually into them so that means if you guys remember i made a night game video a while back where i opened this girl and this girl was like really into me and you know the other guys around me were saying that yo why don't you just stay in that set you're gonna get that girl you know what i might have gotten that girl because that girl was definitely definitely into me so i may actually have had that girl the reason why i didn't stay in set is because i am not the kind of guy that values like two hours or three hours in order to get a girl i just don't like that shit like that thing the two three hour thing is not a thing that i don't like it um and uh if you if you guys watch the 400 lay count podcast guy the uh, the one with my friend he said the same thing yo bro just stay in set for two to three hours that's it stay with pick one girl stay with her for at least 90 minutes if not 90 minutes then stay for two to three hours that's what he told me that was it so i think the only missing thing in my game so far maybe is the fact that i gotta stay inside for like three hours or something i even saw these guys like sexually escalating hugging the girls you know like moving touching and all that kind of stuff nothing that nothing out of the ordinary nothing that i wasn't doing or nothing absolutely nothing was wrong I, uh, he, by the way my parents were over for like three weeks so i haven't gamed in like three weeks um so some things were off in the sense like i wasn't like calibrated in the sense of um i wasn't making it i didn't remember i didn't remember making a conscious effort in looking into the girl's eyes i didn't remember making a conscious effort of just fucking smiling and coming with the vibe like coming with more energy and just being happy like you know something like that it just didn't click in my head until the end of the night or something because as time went on i can't remember those things but the biggest lesson i think that i learned today is that you know what i don't think i'm actually doing anything wrong that's like the biggest burden or something that's been lifted off of my shoulders or something because i've been th- i wanted to go to this this thing i wanted to go with these guys because i want to see them in action i want to see what the fuck is going on and i want to see if i'm doing something wrong and these guys are saying that i mean watching them and observing them i didn't necessarily see anything special or something and they were kind of just doing the same things uh that i was doing the only thing is one they had a wing that makes everything easy night game becomes so much easier when you have a wing that's it boom that's the end of story night game becomes so much easier when you have a wing because it's almost impossibly hard as one guy like fucking superman going into like a two set or three set or more and then trying to get one girl out of that set and then taking her home with you because her friends are going to get bored her friends are not getting the attention all that kind of shit but if you're a two set and you find a two set it's over it's fucking game over if you are a two set and you find a two set then you just go for the girls like one guy gets one girl the other guy gets the other girl you just st- apparently i mean this is what i'm getting you stay in set with those two girls those two girls like fall in love with you obviously over the night because love is a matter of exposure over time so they you stay in the same set they fall in love with you over the two hours that you're spending with them and then that's it you just pull them home that's it there's like nothing else to it as far as i understand it so that was a huge fucking eye opener for me the fact that i didn't see anything advanced i didn't see these guys doing anything advanced there was nothing else going on i was i just enjoyed it that was that was good i absolutely definitely needed this because i've been going on in my fucking head here's here's why i've been frustrated having a problem is not the issue that's never been an issue i there's like a fucking trillion problems i've had in my life and like none of them have been an issue because i am a problem by like i mean you know what we like i don't even know what else the, the best thing that i can call myself is that i'm a problem solver i'm not going to say i'm a bodybuilding coach i'm a pickup enthusiast or i'm a sales guy i'm not i'm not i nothing like i am a problem solver that's all i do all i do is solve problems but the worst part about solving a problem is if you don't even know where the problem is like if you don't even know where to like tackle where the where is the fuck like so right now i'm playing this video game right i'm going to make a video about this this game as well i'm playing a video game called the witcher 3 and i've coded the entire game i've recoded the entire game to work the way that i wanted to work like the game has completely changed completely changed based off of the way that i want the game to work and to look and to perform now in doing that that's called modding now in doing that i'm literally in the visual script and like coding lines and like you know taking things out and putting things back in and uh, rearranging things and everything else in doing so at least i know that in like 1400 or 14000 
It's like a 14,000 code, uh, lines of code or something. I know that the problem is line number 872 to like line number 990, some shit like that. So I know I need to focus there. So far, what, the, what, what was happening and what's been frustrating me with Night Game is like, I don't even know what the fuck is wrong. That's what's been frustrating me. It's like, I don't even know what is wrong. What is going on that's not right. But at least now I realize, one, having a wing really helps. And two, um, possibly staying inside for the long, for a long, you just keep on going until you find a girl that's into you and you stay inside for the longest amount of time. That's pretty much it. That's, that's what, I, that's what I'm understanding so far. Now I'm going to try and stick with these guys for a little bit more, um, because I kind of want to work, like, you know, work with them. Like, I want to game with them and I want to see how things go and all that kind of stuff. And let's see what else if I learn or something, but I really enjoyed coming out here because I feel like I figured out that there necessarily isn't that much of an issue or a problem or something that I'm working on or something. It's all about having a wing with you and staying inside for like a lot longer. These are the two things that I need to be changing and just having fun with. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So anyways, I don't want to make this any longer. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, help me out with a like, comment, share, subscribe. So on so with the YouTube algorithm. If uh, there's anything else I can help you guys out with, leave it in the comment section below. And I shall see you all next time. Peace.